Welcome to OnSody.com. Adobe Bridge is a file browser that is ideal for viewing your images. Bridge will display images in a color managed, flexible and adjustable interface and offers you many different ways to view and manage your images. You can open Bridge from your Applications menu or from the Photoshop interface, File and then select Browse in Bridge. You will use Bridge frequently so it's a good idea to have easy access to it. Let's get straight into it and have a look around. When you first open up Bridge, you may find that the Favourite panel is open. Navigate to the Folders panel first. Bridge will replicate the folders on your hard drive. You can add and delete folders and files from Bridge, just like you can with any system folder. In the lower right hand corner, the slider changes the size of the thumbnails. You can make them large, you can make them small. I like to keep my image small enough so I can manage more of them. I have this file selected by clicking on it and when I tap the space key a full screen preview image appears and tap that again to return back to the bridge interface. Let's keep looking around. You will notice as you look around the interface that I have these lines of metadata information under the thumbnails. This is set in the preferences which we will cover in a later video. Up in the top left hand corner there is a forward and back button just like a web browser so you can go back to a previous folder or to the next. With this button we can go to a parent folder. We can also use this icon to go to a recent folder. The boomerang represents going back to Adobe Photoshop and you can import your photos with the photo importer. We can refine and we have a file selected we can immediately open that file into Camera Raw with this icon. And we can also rotate images. I can scroll through the images with the mouse wheel or keypad. Or I can use the sidebar to move up and down. Here's a tip. Use the Page Down or Page Up keys on the keyboard to move a whole page up or down. Over in the top right hand side is the Preset Workspaces with this little icon here. You can move and drag to display more workspace options. You may find it a little bit far to the right when first opening Bridge. Set the thumbnail quality here. I always have this set to high. But this may slow your computer down. You can add a star rating to a file. As you can see some of these files already have a star rating on them. I can also sort these images manually by file type, by ratings, manually and in a whole range of different ways. I can also use the ascending and descending order which will switch the order of the images around. I can open a recent file, create a new folder and I can also delete an item. But most of these actions can be achieved with other methods too which we will show you in later videos. Here is the image preview, the metadata panel, and Keyword Panel. The Panel Visibility options are accessed from over here in the Window Workspace menu. You can change and select to different workspaces as you wish. Let's now have a look at the Essentials Workspace. Let's now have a look at the Essentials Workspace which gives us the thumbnails in the centre of the screen with the preview to the right. Coming across into the Film Strip Workspace and it will show in a film strip mode with the film strip down at the bottom. You can easily use the keyboard arrows to cycle through the images. This is very helpful and quick. The metadata panel will display the metadata of each of the files. Or the keywords workspace. The preview workspace provides a vertical film strip in the left hand side. The light table workspace makes the thumbnails into full screen and we can also view folders down here. I can swap these panels around too. I'll come back to Essentials and we'll have a little bit more of a look. Customize this interface by clicking and dragging and moving everything around. I can increase the size of the preview. 
I can do all sorts of things. There's so many different ways of being able to look at the bridge interface. We can save our workspace up here too by choosing New Workspace. Another very important aspect of the bridge interface is the ability to right click and this will open up a whole range of extra options. You are able to move, copy, paste, duplicate, open into camera raw, purge the cache, generate high quality thumbnails, add develop settings and more. Watch the next series of videos on Adobe Bridge and learn how to set up Bridge and manage all your photographs.